7 Eyewitness News 11 at 11 begins right now. Only on Cairo 7, the private eye Crystal Brame hired to protect her from her police chief husband breaks his silence tonight. Ed Lewis says he feels guilty that he couldn't keep David Brame from killing her and himself. Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is live tonight in Tacoma with never before heard conversations between Crystal Brame and Lewis. Debbie? Steve, Ed Lewis says tonight he is coming forward with the blessing of Crystal Brame's family. He says she hired him because she was convinced her husband was going to kill her and she needed protection. We agreed not to show Ed Lewis's face. This message is from Crystal Brames for Investigator Lewis. If you could please call me as soon as possible, I'd appreciate that. Thank you so much. Goodbye. To me, you can feel the pain to me in her, in her voice. You can feel that she's worn down. She's literally drained. That's what private investigator Ed Lewis heard when he talked to Crystal Brame in the midst of a nasty divorce from her husband, Tacoma Police Chief David Brame. On April 25th, 2003, she called Lewis upset. The story of their divorce had hit the newspaper. And that's in today's paper, and he told me that I haven't seen anything yet. He's just getting started. Oh, oh he left that message? No, David called and left me, told me that last night. I hung up on him twice. I was at my parents celebrating my birthday. And he told me, well, I'll be surprised tomorrow that he was going to trash me in the papers. And, well, he managed to do just that. She asked Lewis to come over to check her telephone, believing it was tapped. Because yeah, if he told me last night, he said, I'm just getting started, Crystal. You haven't seen anything yet. So I, who knows what's going to happen now. The very next day, David Brain drove their children to Gig Harbor, parked near his wife's car, shot her, then himself. My job dropped. Just dropped. I felt guilty. Crystal Blame wanted Ed Lewis to begin telling her husband, but she didn't have the money, and so he never did it. A week later, Crystal Blame died. Ed Lewis wishes he could do it all over again. Reporting live in Tacoma, Deborah Horn, Caro 7 Eyewitness News. An emotional ceremony in Pierce County as Crystal Blame's parents are honored for pushing new laws to protect women from domestic violence. And for the first time, we heard from Crystal's young daughter. I just want to give all my thanks and appreciation to all the people out there. Thank you. The Crystal Judson Brame Domestic Violence Protocol Program was approved by the Senate and the House last week.